Now let me tell you a story. I have this patient that was reported and I evaluated this patient. He has a very classic sign of lymphedema affecting the right lower extremity, meaning to say the right leg. And when I ask and uh, uh, try to do an interview to look for the risk factors and the patient didn't have any family history of lymphedema, the patient is not obese, he is uh, slim, and also he doesn't have any non-exposure to mosquito bite or he doesn't have any chronic venous insufficiency and uh, he doesn't have any history of cancer or any cancer related intervention however I asked what surgery did you have and he said that eight years ago I have a total hip replacement so um, there are more and more there are more and more evidence-based papers now saying that even just okay even just uh, well just a damage damage of one inguinal lymph nodes could result to congestion of the of the lower extremity on that on that side so the risk of limb edema is higher on patient with any type of surgery involving involving the joints such as the hip and sometimes the knees as well i'm also getting some patients who had history of total knee replacement and uh, with the presence of coexisting uh, factors like obesity and whatnot, sometimes they do develop limb edema.